Hello everyone and thank you for subscribing to InfoWorks Tech. This is the channel where we explore new trends and technologies including machine learning, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, Python programming and similar. Today we are going to look at Azure Storage Explorer and it's a tool that allows us to manage and review or look at the cloud storage resources from our desktop and which are hosted on Azure and as you can see uh, it's a very versatile application it's extensible it's very accessible and at the same time allowing you to securely access your assets in the cloud so uh, what I've gone ahead and done is uh, install a copy of uh, Azure Data Explorer on my desktop so you, as you can see here I've um, installed it here and the next thing to do is to sign in with Azure and then get started I've already signed in so let me just show you quickly uh, what we're looking at so uh, this is my Azure environment and under one of the storage accounts I have InfoWars blob one and you can see it's got a bunch of uh, uh, these uh, pictures so let's go back and see if we can uh, you know review this or explore this these resources from our desktop using Azure Storage Explorer so like I said uh, we already signed in with Azure let me click that again the environment I'm going to use is Azure and uh, not any of these so go ahead and say yes uh, so it directs me to another page where I have to sign in and uh, it, it'll once it's signed in it, you should uh, come back to this page and as, as you can see it says you're now signed in and you're good to go now let's take a look at what are the resources available to us let's look at some of the Azure resources let's look at the on the left hand side if I go here I can see some blob containers let's uh, open that up and so I've created a test blob just given another name so on the Azure side I made sure that um, I am I have a policy to allow read of this blob as well as listing the contents of this um, blob and for the purposes of this demo I also said the access is open to public and I can quickly go and show you that as well so as you can see I just uh, connected and we can see all of those uh, resources that are in our Azure cloud uh, storage they are displayed here so it's a very easy and uh, powerful way to access your uh, storage account right from the desktop so let's take a quick look and uh, it all sh shows up well let's have a look at this so all good so that's pretty straightforward um, I guess uh, one has to do a little more work on the Azure site so let's go there and I'll quickly show what I did so as an example uh, looking at this InfoWars blob one uh, if we select here uh, and so you have the container properties this is um, what you will require a URL uh, in storage Azure storage Explorer you will definitely need this information so make a copy of that and as well as I mentioned the access level so if you go here to change access you can see that uh, I, I set it to uh, at the container level and allowing anonymous read access for containers and blobs and there are four different levels so you have private no anonymous access blob only uh, and the container that one we had selected so let me go ahead and change that to private so there's no anonymous access the only way you can access it if I provide you uh, a token or SAS uh, to, to access this okay so let's uh, change back and um, I also mentioned about the policy so if you select policy you can see here that the policy I have here uh, I just calling it list policy Azure Explorer and you can see I have two permissions selected so the ability to read 
as well as the ability to list so that allows me to uh, connect to the storage blob um, and uh, be able to list the contents like I showed you now if I was to um, add the right and on create or add this will give me additional uh, um, capability to be able to upload some images into the um, it into our um, blob in the Azure storage so for, for this uh, very short uh, demo I, I just wanted to show that how easy it is to uh, install Azure Storage Explorer on your desktop and with the, a few steps on the uh, Azure um, environment uh, to allow access uh, you can go ahead and explore all the storage that you have all the storage assets right from the desktop so we uh, showed how you could download a file by connecting uh, to your Azure storage uh, using the Azure Storage Explorer now um, th that we are connected using the SAS uh, token and URL uh, let's see if we can upload a file into the Azure blob uh, running somewhere in the cloud so I, I have my Azure Storage Explorer open so let's click on upload and for now I'll select upload file and um, in let me navigate to the location so I created uh, in the desktop a folder called test folder Azure Explorer and I just added a file there so let's select that and say open everything else checks out let's hit upload and as you can see it's now connecting to our Azure blob in the cloud and it's uploaded that file successfully so uh, this is a quick demonstration to show um, the capabilities of the Azure Storage Explorer is uh, installed on your desktop and makes it really easy to communicate and um, send or receive storage from your uh, in, in your Azure uh, storage accounts uh, running somewhere in the cloud so thanks for watching